Judge Me Reviews Shopify Tutorial How to Add Judge Me Reviews on Shopify Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add product reviews on your Shopify products using Judge Me. Now, by default, we have seen that Shopify is an amazing e-commerce store builder. However, it lacks in one section and that is product reviews. By default, Shopify does not have any system for customers to be able to leave reviews on products. And for that reason, I love to use Judge Me Reviews because it has an amazing free plan. The free plan has everything you need and it includes unlimited reviews, whether those are picture reviews, video reviews, unlimited reviews can be included in your Shopify store. So let's jump right in and set up Judge Me Reviews. For this, the first thing you're gonna do is head on over into your Shopify dashboard. Once you're in your Shopify dashboard, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left. Then you're gonna click on apps and sales channels on the left. And then you're going to open up the Shopify app store from the top right. Once you've done that, this will open up the Shopify app store and you're just going to search for Judge Me. Now, Judge Me has two applications. You're going to see the product reviews app and the Judge Me AliExpress reviews. The Judge Me AliExpress reviews app is specifically meant for people that are looking to import reviews from AliExpress onto their Shopify store. This is usually used by dropshippers, but first you have to set up the review widgets, which you're going to do with the product reviews app. So click on this app over here and click on install. Once you click on install, this will open up a new tab for the installation of the product reviews application. So click on install once more to install your application. And now you will have your Judge Me reviews onboarding. Now Judge Me will ask you to start your setup and you're just going to click on start setup. Over here, you're going to click on enable app embed and this will enable the app from the top left. Once the app is enabled, you're going to click on save. This allows the Judge Me code to be able to run on your Shopify store. Then just click on continue over here, and then you have to install the review widget. Click on the green button, and this will add the review widget at the bottom of your product info on Judge Me. However, one thing to note is that the review widget by default is added under related products. So if you want to display the review section before the related product section, simply hold the review widget and or hold the entire app section and move it above related products. And just like that, your review section will start right under the product info. Click on save on the top right and proceed onto your dashboard. Over here, you're going to install the star ratings badge. So click on the green button. And once you click on your green button, you will be able to install the star widget. Now, one thing that a lot of people miss is the star widget by default is added at the bottom of your product information. So it's added under the share button, which does not look good. So for most stores, for most people that are including star widgets, you want to include your star ratings right under either the price or the product name. So simply hold it from the left and then move it above like so and place it into your personal preference. So whether it's under the price or the title of the product, once you've shifted the position of your star ratings, click on save on the top right. Now, moving on to the next step, you're going to set up your branding. By default, Judge Me has its own color selected, so you can pick out a color that you like. So I'm going to go with a dark red, like so, and then click on continue. Once you do that, you have automated review requests. Now, this is one of the most useful features, which allows you to send an automatic email to any of your new customers, asking them to write a review for your product. You can even specify the number of days after which the product is fulfilled that you want to send the review request. This can ensure that the customer has received the product. So whatever is your standard delivery time, let's say after fulfillment, it takes two days for customers to receive their product. 
that is what I expect from my, you know, delivery service. So for domestic orders, I will send out this email after three days. And let's say for international orders, after the order is fulfilled, I want to send this email out after five days. And then I'm just going to click on finish. And this has been the complete setup of the Judge Me product reviews app. So from here, you can click on Explore Judge Me and you will see the app over here on the left. I just like to pin this to make this easier to access. And on your basic review page, you have a general review insight. So the overall rating that you're getting, the orders, the questions, the trust sources, as well as any of the, you know, any of the accolades that your products are getting. So what type of product is performing the best for reviews? After that, you can go into your manage reviews section. This section allows you to remove or request retraction for reviews. You will see a product review section, store reviews, any spam or archived reviews. So if you receive unnecessarily negative reviews or reviews that are inaccurate, you can archive those as well. You can also go into the moderation section to set up some default rules for reviewing. You guys can see you have the option to auto publish reviews, which I like to keep turned on. However, you can also publish reviews manually, which means that customers can review your products. However, until you approve of the review, it will not be updated on your website. Personally, I don't feel like this is very transparent, so I like to review or add reviews automatically. After that, you have review restrictions. So you can actually add restrictions to who can review certain products. Only buyers who have received a review request email, only buyers who have received a review request email and API users. So if I want to ensure that only customers that have purchased from me are reviewing, I can choose the third option. However, this can, you know, create unnecessarily complicated procedures for customers, which can deter reviewing. So for that reason, I like to ensure that there is no restriction. Now, after that, you have personal info. So you can censor your personal info and publish your review or hide review containing personal information. Reviews would be marked as spam in the review dashboard or replace personal information with asterisks. So a person's name is Janet. Instead of writing the full name, the review widget is only going to display the first letter and the last letter so that all of your customers can keep their privacy. And you also have a Q&A and product and group section. So you can group different products to make it easier for customers to review them all together. Below that, you have a review collection section, which you can schedule out requests for customers to review your products. Then you also have different widgets that you can include. By default, when you are setting up the Judge Me application, you set up the review widget for products and you set up the star rating badge. However, Judge Me has a wide variety of review widgets that you can include, including carousels, pop-up reviews, Q&A sections, an all reviews page, a Judge Me medal, verified review counter, as well as floating review tabs and all reviews counter. All of these can help in boosting trust as well as a transparency level with your customers on your site. So if you want to include any of these other review tabs, simply click on install and this will open up a new page where the review widget is meant to be added. Once you do that, this will include the review widget within the page and you can move it around to see which position you like the best. So for example, if I click on add section, I can click on apps and I can choose my own preference of the type of widget I want to include. So I want to include another review widget so I can just include that but I don't think that's gonna look nice. So I'm gonna click on add section and I want to add a review carousel. This can display reviews from throughout my website right into my home page. Click on save on the top right. And just like that, you have Judge Me product reviews set up on your Shopify store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.